In today's video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily set up your equatorial mount. I'm Rajan and you're watching God's Art. I've seen loads of videos on trying to set up a mount and they're unnecessarily long and overcomplicated. I'm going to simplify this process, aiming it at beginners who don't really know the technical terms, like myself when I set up my first mount. So let's crack on with it. Step 1. Right, so first let's get the tripod up. Make sure you spread the legs out to the max. So pop the mount head on top, making sure that the black peg goes into the mount head gap and then making sure that you screw it in from underneath. Step two, now that we've got your mount head locked in, grab your eyepiece holder and screw that in underneath too. This will make sure the old tripod legs stay in place. Make sure it's screwed in tightly because you don't want any wiggle room. After that, grab your two bolts and screw them into the side. In the future they'll help you point your mount left and right, but for now just keep them roughly the same length by the side. Step three, so now we've got to be a bit more careful. Grab your spirit level, uh, extend the counterweight bar at the end of the mount and unlock the locking clutch you see on the side. We'll take the mount parallel to the ground and lock the clutch back up. Place the spirit level on the counterweight bar and then ensure that the bubble is centered. Once you've done this, rotate the green dial on the side and make sure they hit six. Lock it up, make sure the screws are nice and tight and then rotate the whole mount again so that it's pointed towards 12. Step four, loosen up the bolts at the top of the mount to make sure the spirit level can fit in there. Once you've done this, unlock the clutch at the top and then we'll take the top of the mount horizontal, lock the clutch back up, pop the spirit level on in there and ensure that it's balanced. Once it's balanced, you can look at the pointer and we'll take the green dial there to ensure that it hits 90. Once it hits 90, screw it up again, make sure it's nice and tight and then unlock the top clutch again and rotate it back so that the pointer is at zero. Right, now that you've done this, you could leave a mark at the top of the dial and this will tell you in the future that this is the position where your mount is perfectly aligned. I've done so on my mount and I recommend that you do it for yours as well. Step 5. Right, now we're on to the final step. Aligning your poloscope with your mount. Next you need to print out on a blank page a small black circle. You want to get about 20 feet away of a wall, making sure that that page is stuck to the wall. I would suggest doing this in a hallway or a garden. Adjust the height bolts of the mount so that it's pointing towards zero and that the mount is pointing towards the black circle. What you've got to do next is unlock the clutch at the top of the mount then rotate the top until it hits 90 and then lock the clutch back up. Now take the cap off at the front of the mount so you can see through the poloscope. Looking through the poloscope, centre the circle within your view. Once you've done this, rotate the mount 180 degrees and see if the circle has moved from the centre. If it has, then your poloscope is not aligned properly with your mount. Your tracking error is going to be off and your mount won't work as effectively as it should do. If the circle is centred, then that's great, your mount's set up and you're good to go. If the circle has swayed off, all you need to do is adjust the screws on the side of the poloscope using an allen key. All you've got to do is move the circle so it's about half the distance between the centre and where the new circle was after rotation. Once you've done this, rotate the mount 180 degrees so that the circle is back in the centre of the poloscope. Now repeat the process until the circle never moves from the centre and once you've done that, your poloscope is aligned and you're good to go. Right, there is one more final step. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel and post any questions you may have in the comment section below. I will be posting similar how-to clips and astrophotography videos in the near future, so be sure to check them out. I'm Arjun, and you've been watching God's Art.